Another big interview. <laughs> the world's biggest stars. On the 947 Top 40 with Zwelly. Hey. Powered by CTM. Are you ready? Arts and Garrix, how are you doing, my brother? You all good? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's raining in South Africa right now. How's the weather on your side? I know it's winter in Europe, eh? Hey? It was crazy. And so about two weeks ago, it was snow and ice everywhere and people were ice skating on the canals and this week it's 18 degrees. It's like uh, oh. very weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now look, I mean, uh, we've got so much to talk about. You've got a brand new single with Dove Low Pressure, but I, I want to chat a little bit about, you know, lockdown. There's, we've had a pandemic, coronavirus over the past year, and a lot of artists that I've spoken to have said that they found this as a time to, you know, create a little bit more, try to think of different ideas. Has it been the same for you? How, how, what, how, I mean, how have you been keeping busy? Um, for me, I think it's the same. I've been in, basically in this room all the time, in the studio, just creating, uh, experimenting. Um, and besides music-wise, uh, I also was a lot of time with family, with friends. Um, so it was because I've, I've been touring since very young. So this year felt more like like uh, like uh, making up for the family yeah. time that I missed uh, earlier. But it's it's been... Very weird not doing shows and I missed the shows, but it's been good creative wise to experiment, try new stuff. Also Pressure was an experimental uh, song and the response to it is luckily positive, so it's great. Yeah. Now I want to go back to 2013. I mean, you were only 16 years old at the time and Animals just blew up. We were hearing it at every club, at every festival, on every radio station. It was such a great song that really brought people together. But you were so young at the time, you know. Um, uh, that must have been interesting at your age. Did you find that there was a little bit of a change in your life with the people that were around you, like friends, you know, a bit like acting different, just being like, you're no longer just Martin, you're now like this big superstar. No, for me, like, uh, I'm, I'm super close with my childhood friends and nice. during the whole process and course of all the crazy roller coaster things happening they really um yeah they really were always on the side uh, um and helping and guiding and uh, they didn't they didn't uh, change their behavior Ah, very nice. Now, you mentioned just now that you're always touring and you're so used to being in so many different countries and now, you know, you've been at home for uh, most of the year. I know that you've been to South Africa a couple of times for uh, Ultra Music Festival. Um, uh, how was your time in South Africa? You know, what did you think of the culture, the people? Did you enjoy it? It was incredible. Um, it was also the first time I ever played Ultra Music Festival uh, in general. Um, and it was so so magical i ended up on 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 the shoulders of chesto uh and like it was it was crazy we ended up playing back to back with alesso was there um yeah. it, it was it was really uh yeah nothing but amazing memories and and the people the vibe the energy it's so welcoming and then yeah then uh, ultra in the stadium which was also super super crazy uh it's it's been uh i i miss south africa and i can't wait to come back Ah, man, we miss you too. We miss you too. And were you surprised, I mean, uh, just to ask about the fact that I was there and everyone was singing along to your songs. We knew when the beat drops, when we're all jumping, singing along. Um, did that surprise you a little bit that, you know, people from a completely different part of the world are so in love and in tune with your music? It's, it's crazy. Um, and I'm, I'm very grateful. I, a lot of people, they're, they're like always thanking the artists for the music, but I think it's the other way around. Um, yeah. And the artist should be thankful that people listen to the music, um, and it still blows my mind. It's uh, there's, it's, it's like uh, so much adrenaline and and, and euphoria, um, and and I think it's a, I'm honored that people listen to the the music and and radiate with it, and that we get to do shows hopefully soon again uh, after this Corona shit. Um, <laughs> But no, it's uh, it's 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 beautiful, and I'm I'm very very excited and grateful. Ah, nice. Now, one thing that I love about you is that you're able to take us to a party, and then at the same time, you make us really feel deep with our emotions, fall in love, go through heartbreak, and that sort of thing. And you know, on songs like "Scared to Be Lonely" with Dua Lipa, which is just brilliant. Um, uh, you know, we really got to see you and her tap into your emotions. Do you enjoy using, I guess, your art and music as a form of expression? 
yeah i think that's that's basically what music is it's it's emotion um and and with every song that i write produce or even even that comes out of my brain it's it's based on how i feel on what is in my head at the time so it's uh and i think music is the most powerful when people can connect with it when there's lyrics that touch you when there's and i'm 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 obsessed with beautiful chords and melodies and i think uh yeah it's it, 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 there's a very it's like um some songs don't even need lyrics but just already the melodies and the chords it's so powerful what you can create with only that uh emotion wise and then you can also have vocals on it like do has an incredible voice also tove low now um and they can help strengthen the emotion and the feel of the song and then they're amazing with lyrics so it's it's a it's a cool process of polishing and creating a song yeah that's really dope and i mean you've worked with some of the world's biggest stars um from different genres of music as well from different walks of life over the course of your career and i'm just looking at the background there your studio it looks so great and i can imagine you get stuck in there and you're just creating music and in my head hey look at that that's dope mpb cribs that's my studio <laughs> <laughs> but you know just looking at your music space right now in my head you know listening to your songs I'm always just like oh man Martin Garrix is always having a party it's always so much fun you know when all of this is happening and uh, what is that process like for you whether you're making music alone or also with collaborators you know um well now uh the the last single we've done has been uh through FaceTime and through Zoom because we like cuz uh Tova, it's crazy. Tova Lo and I have never met before in real life, and we released a song together. But that's because we did everything over FaceTime. But I love what I love the most is when you're in the same room together and you're you're vibing, you're in the moment, and and when whenever you feel that you're onto something that could potentially be something good, mm -hmm. there's a certain energy in the room, a certain excitement, and um, it, that excitement and that energy is very contagious. It's like yeah. yeah. So I I yeah, it's not always a party in the studio because a lot of it is literally just me just by myself sitting here listening to the same sound for hours <laughs> trying to make it better. But um the 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 jam sessions and the like the like the, the moment where you create something from scratch, those are the most fun things and that happens often very quick and then afterwards it's just polishing, making it sound good. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Now the new single, Pressure, we just spoke about it with uh, Tov Lo and uh, really cool. What I like about it is that you seem like the type of artist who always wants to grow and you're willing to learn and experimenting in, you know, different sounds. And the first time that I heard Pressure, I, I got a deep house sort of feel in it. I want to be at an underground party, hot, sweaty, we're dancing. You know what I mean? Um, and you describe it as like a future pop sort of thing. And I would say that back in 2013, 2014, you were making Future Pop because that's what radio sounds like today. And, uh, you know, would you say that you're still learning and you're still, you know, finding different ways to become creative as you grow as an artist? I, I think the day you stop learning is the day you, you lose. Like, uh, I, I still learn every day and I'm excited to learn. Um, nobody knows everything, and especially with... with something creative like creative creatively like making music like there's so many sometimes you make a, a mistake but it sounds cool and then you learn that if you do that which you the first time you did by accident and like I, I i there's been songs where i did something wrong by accident and i was like oh this sounds this sounds cool and so then in yeah. the future if i wanted to something sound like that i would do the same mistake again but it's like it's cool and i always think it's 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 challenging and it's exciting to reinvent, to try out new things. If you always do what people expect you to do, people are gonna get bored. And I'm gonna get bored because I wanna be challenged. Yeah, yeah, now let's talk about pressure. I mean, uh, like I said, love the song, love the vibe. Um, uh, what's that song about for you and what does it mean to you as well? This song is, is I just wanted to try something completely different. Uh, throw people off, off guard of them be like huh what is this Garrix? Yeah. <laughs> um no and uh 
the song started with 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 a rough demo and uh, with the yeah. um, but it had something weird to it and uh, then we were looking for like a cool cool female feature to to be on it and we reached out to Tova and she 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 nailed it she she changed some of the lyrics uh, she wrote a whole new part um, for towards the end of the song and, uh, and I'm, I'm super happy but the song to me it's a uh, it's exciting. I was a little nervous by by putting it out in the beginning because it is so different from anything that I've done before. But it's also exciting. I feel like uh, right now everybody is in the right mindset to 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 hear new things, and uh, yeah. I feel like everybody's very open-minded in a, in a positive, um, exciting way, music-wise. And uh, when the festivals come back, there's also going to be a lot of high-energy uh, Garrick's music. Oh man, absolutely cannot wait for that. Can't wait for it. And you know, just the last question for you. Um, as we move into, I guess, 2021, you know, countries slowly but surely things are starting to get better. We're hoping, you know, vaccines are going to work internationally um, uh, until, you know, everything is open and we're allowed to go to festivals again. And, you know, you can interact, I guess, with your fellow artists in the studio. Um, uh, wh what have you got planned this year? What is Martin Garrix going to be working on? Um, this year is going to be crazy. Um, Whoa. I have uh, in April I'm uh, dropping a new project or it's not a new project but I'm dropping a, um, the first single from a, a full album that I did together with my friend Major and it's called Area 21 and it's basically long story short it's about two aliens they crashed on planet earth and while they're here they're like what what are you guys doing they don't understand why there's borders in between countries why there's so much division so they came to planet earth to uh, to unite the people again um so that's that's a full album and it's very different sound wise from from martin garrick so i'm very excited with that i'm i'm playing guitar i'm drumming on it oh. um, and then uh in may i'm dropping the new garrick's uh collaboration and it's with the biggest act that i've ever worked with in my life so um i'm, I'm mm. very, very excited for that Oh man, you're getting us excited. I'm sitting here now and I'm like, okay, what's the date? Can we please get it to April and May already? We need it. <laughs> I wish I had a time machine. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh man, Martin Garrix, bro. We respect you. We absolutely love you down here in South Africa and at 947. Pressure, we're going to get it onto our top 40 and hopefully we'll all be jamming together in South Africa when everything's fine again. Thank you. So much love to South Africa, to you and see you soon. Ah, big love, bro. Have a good one. Four seven top forty CTM.